Hey guys, it's Di, and today I thought it would be fun to share a recent haul from Loft that just arrived. And so I ordered some fall transition pieces, just some items to add into my wardrobe that would be comfy and work for this kind of in-between season before it starts to really cool off here in Alabama. And I have been getting a lot of use out of these flowy, kind of really thin cardigans that I got off of Amazon. I'll link these down below. Um, but I wanted to get something a little bit different than these because this is pretty much what I've lived in all summer long, is these cardigans from Amazon with a tank from Old Navy underneath. And it's really comfortable, it's really easy to wear, but I wanted something a little different. So I put in an order to lock. I don't know if you heard the news, but they are, I think, closing a number of their stores. You're still able to order online. And they always have really good deals online, but they've had some phenomenal sales recently. So I picked these up at a really good deal. The only catch is, is that with these warehouse sales, the prices are like seriously crazy. It's like $8 for a shirt. And the thing is though, is that what you get, you get. They are uh, final sales, so you can't return them. So I thought it'd be fun to share what I got today, all of it. Um, looks like it should be pretty good. Just to give you an idea, I got everything for $85 and most of the prices on the shirts were around seven or eight dollars, which is crazy. That's like Old Navy prices. And I have really good luck with loft clothing. I find that the quality is usually really good and it also fits me really well. So I enjoy wearing things from loft. So let's open all this up and see what I think about some of these items. So this is the first item, and this one's truly interesting because I did not remember ordering something that was pink, but apparently I did. So here we go. Um, so it's actually really light pink, and it almost kind of starts to look beige as you put it against yourself, but it's a little peplum top. It's a real loose kind of top, and it's got these kind of flowy sleeves, which I think are great because then you can put a jacket over it if you want or not. So it seems like it should be long enough. I prefer things that are a little bit longer, but it also seems like it'll be really comfortable to wear around the house because I'm planning on, or it looks like I will be, working at home indefinitely. So, um, you know, having things that are professional from the waist up for meetings online, but are also really comfortable are at the top of the list for clothing right now. So there's this. Striped ruffle sleeve tee was $7.97, which is crazy. And it seems like it's a really good um, kind of like thin sweater material. So that should be great for fall. The next thing, I'm really excited about this one. This one looked like a really great shirt that would transition back to the office should the need ever arise to go back to the office. So this is a little shell. It's a really pretty kind of purpley pink color. It is like a chiffon material that can get kind of wrinkly. Um, but this would look really great with like a jacket over it or a nice cardigan. And I love when it has this, that little bit of detail around the neck. So this will look really nice on a Zoom call. Um, you're going to hear me say that a lot because that's the world we live in now is Zoom call to Zoom call. But um, this little shell was a really great price as well. I'm looking at the prices that I paid for some of these things and I just can't believe it. So this little scoop neck was $14. It's a little bit of a dressier material and I definitely absolutely would pay $14 for this because it seems like it's gonna be good quality too. So the next couple of things are all really reasonably priced as well. I'm really excited to see this one. It is a pretty kind of sand color. It is a 3-4 sleeve, and I hope that it is comfy and long. It's got kind of a shimmer effect to it. And so I wanted just something, this is kind of more casual, this is a little bit more cozy, but it was only $7. So you could dress it up with a scarf or some accessories and really kind of play up on it, but honestly for $7, just a little bit of shimmer even if you're just wearing it from the waist up for a Zoom meeting, um, this would be great for just this with some dress pants or jeans. Next, there is another striped top, and this one also has a little bit of a ruffle sleeve to it. So this one has a V-neck on it. I really love V-neck shirts, and this one is something that I wanted to wear kind of like on a travel day when we're traveling. Um, this fall. It looks like it's nice and comfy and it could also be dressed up as well, which is nice. It's got a little bit of detail here in the back with the pleating on the shoulders. So this one, lastly, this was $7.97. 
So this was another good price. And this one, I really love this color. I thought that this was a really unique sweater. I hope it's long enough. It also has the shimmer neck. And actually, it might just be a green version of the other one, but I really like this color. So it's, they're both a little boxy, so I'm gonna be interested to see what these look like on. Um, but I love three, four sleeve length sweaters, and it's not too thick. I mean, I wear a tank top usually underneath everything anyways. It's not too thick, so that's perfect for Alabama because it never really gets that cold here to where you need like super cold weather stuff. Um, so I'll share what this one looks like on too, but I love the color of this one. And last but not least, I have a ton of like lighter weight cardigans that I would take into the office and wear those. But this one was a dolman sleeve type of cardigan and it's got a really long kind of scoop bottom here. And so I thought that this would be really nice, again, to look more professional from the waist up. And I could just give it a little bit of difference from these kind of light cardigans that I've been wearing over the summer. So this is really easy to accessorize because I love like these long necklaces with it. And um, again, it's really fun and easy to wear. All in all, I think I got some great finds. I think I found some really fun stuff. And it was a really, really economical haul for like $80 for a number of tops. And then of course, like bottoms, anything, anything goes these days. But I, right before everything closed, I had bought a number of new work pants from Loft. So in the event that we need to go back to the office at some point, I have a number of work pants just sitting there waiting for me. Uh, but right now I do typically wear jeans a lot at home because it really doesn't matter what I have on the bottoms. So I do wear jeans a lot. Um, they're the torrid jeans that are really stretchy and they're comfortable. So it's not like, you know, trying to prove anything by wearing pants thing. They just are really comfortable. So I wore the Capri versions in the summer a lot with sandals. And as we go into fall, I have the more legging jean versions, the jeggings. Um, so I'll pair that with a lot of these. But let me know what you have been pairing for your fall quarantine wardrobe. Um, are you buying any new items or are you just gonna use what you have? If you've been having to dress for Zoom meetings, what do you do? Do you wear like dress clothing on the top with like a blazer and like pajama clothing on the bottom? Or what do you do? Or do you do like a happy medium where like, I'm pretty casual most days, unless it's like a more like quarterly meeting or something like that, where we need to be a little bit dressy for just like my regular meetings. Um, you know, something like this, like it's what I'm wearing all day long. I will wear that to my Zoom meetings. I will wear it when I'm just sitting here working. I'll wear it when I'm around the house. So these types of outfits really kind of lend themselves to a number of different situations and they work well for this kind of work at home and definitely lifestyle that we have going on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul today. Let me know if you have any questions down below and thanks for watching. Have a great day.